In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to utilize a single column tie. So, just open up our rope. So what we want to do is always have two fingers here. That way it guides us, so we're not being all messy. And what we're going to do is guide the rope over and around. Catch it from underneath. We always want to have a two centimeter gap in between the wrists. The reason for this is because during play it can tighten up and it won't be as pleasurable. On top of that, we've got three nerves within the wrist. It's a vulnerable area and we want to prevent nerve compression and nerve injury. Nerve injury. So to do this, then remove one of your fingers out. I want to get, get into the habit of being able to slide this through. Nice. And then from here, you can bring your rope out. Notice how my tensions are tight because I've brought my rope all the way out. I haven't brought it along here. From here, we wanna get our two fingers, twist the rope so it's in line with the single column tie and use your other two fingers to pull the rope through pulling on the working end and that's a nice single column tie with a two centimeter gap so I'll do that once more in this way I'll do I'll demonstrate this in crossways doing the exact same thing bring the rope on top slide in it through the bottom Bring it on top, sliding this one out, rope up, pushing it through, pulling on our biting end. From here, what I can do is spin cardio around. and I can lock her in here. The reason why I've done hands crisscross is because if you're a male, male don't generally have enough flexibility to be going single like this and all the way out. So it's always safer to just do a single column tie this way because the purpose is just to restrain them behind the back, not to make really uncomfortable. 